Thank you very much, Lisa. And thank you very much, Peterson Literary Fund Award Jury, for inviting me to introduce this year's uh, Grand Prix for Excellence in Translation winner. Sorry. Um, and I will just say it's very fitting that today, December 9th, is the International Day of Commemoration and Dignity of the Victims of Genocide. And I can't see a more fitting commemoration than this event. So thank you. The winner of the 2023 Grand Prix for Excellence in Translation is Ukraina Birtarin Ukraina Salatlas. Ukraine and Illustrated History, Language of Translation from the English to the Turkish, author Paul Robert Magucci, translators Marina Kravet, Viktor Osobchuk, and Murat Yasar. Published by Vakif Bank Kultur Yerindre, Turkey. The prize is given in recognition of this book's importance in making Paul Robert Magucci's comprehensive history of Ukraine accessible to a Turkish-speaking audience. The volume is a richly illustrated historical survey of Ukraine from earliest times to the present. The text is compact and easy to follow, with 46 chapters, each framed by a historical map depicting key elements of a given chronological period. A Ukrainian reviewer writes about this book, and I've translated the comment uh, into English for you. Quote, one might consider Magucci's atlas to be a first step in an essential progress in publishing toward an understanding of Ukraine in Turkey and a rethinking by the Turks of their own sense of identity, unquote. From myself, I will add that Paul Robert Magucci has a talent of being able to take facts that might sound dryly erudite in some contexts and combine them into engaging narratives with the twinkle of his intellect, his artistic sensibility, and the swish of his pen. And the excellent translators into the Turkish here have graced the pages of Professor Magucci's history with their carefully and professionally crafted high-level academic translation helping to propel this history to new heights of reading. In bestowing the Grand Prix for Excellence in Translation to Ukraina Birtarin Atlas, we invite the author, Paul Robert Magucci, and the team of translators, Marina Kravets, Viktor Ostavchuk, and Murat Yasar, to join us on stage to accept the award. Speaking on behalf of the translators will be Viktor Ostapchuk and the author Paul Robert Magacci will also say a few words. Uh, it's always difficult to be at the end of any program, but the more difficult thing is that following what we've heard, we've heard real people from Ukraine. We are just in a comfortable environment outside of that terribly suffering land, and we heard the voices of those people. I mean, like, what else can we say other than to bow down to them and express our appreciation that they are still holding on and will continue to hold on until victory? And it is obvious. <laughs> it's obvious from those voices that they will be victorious. These are incredible people. And that's why I feel almost terrible just having to speak in this otherwise comfortable environment. But let me just say uh, two things, because it, of course it is late. The first is that. Uh, it is also wonderful to be in the presence of a former student 
uh, of mine in one of these courses. Uh, and just to hear the craftsmanship that she has in preparation of her remarks. I mean, the kind of uh, essay introduction to Anne uh, Applebaum was actually beautifully brilliant. And not, not, not that I had anything to do with influencing her doing her uh, suffering years many, many years ago. The other thing I wanted to say is that I have a confession to make. And the confession is that um, I came from an environment in the United States which some would call elitist. And I was against translations. I was not interested in having any of my works translated whether elitism or snobism, however you want to define it. I'm bearing my soul here. Um, I figured that I don't have time to oversee, be concerned with translations, because there are other new things that need to be done. At one level, at one level, a translation is not really new. For the author, in many ways, it can be boring because you've done this book several years ago or decades ago. Uh, but then I had a, a colleague friend from Ukraine who was a fierce defender of Ukrainian language. And she got on my case on this matter. And since then, I have gone in the other direction. I spend most of my time, unfortunate slip, most of my time overseeing translations I don't know, 17 languages now, from Macedonian to French to German. This year, four books of mine are coming out in Turkey, in Turkish. And, and one already previously appeared. Uh, in this particular case, I should mention, throughout all of these years, though I had the opportunity, well before 2014, let alone since, of the 16 or 17 languages in which my books have been translated, one of the first translations was in Chinese, never any Russian. Not a single book of mine has been translated into Russian and will not be translated into Russian. Uh, well, I don't know if I agree with that. Well, I'm sure people won't agree, but you know, we're up here having a debate. More important and most important is the idea for this book was not mine. The idea for this book was my dear colleague from the University of Toronto, uh, Victor Ostapchuk. And so let us now hear what he has to say and why he wanted this uh, matter to be done. Thank you. Thank you, uh, uh, Bob. I'm really, uh, I'm really touched that you remember that. We went way back, actually, and I, I did have that idea way back for the English version. And um, I think it was actually serendipitous. But I don't have any prepared comments, but I do want to say a couple of substantive things. When we walked into this, this was a, well, first of all, let me say, first of all, I'm very grateful. And I can reassure you that we deserve this prize <laughs> squared and cubed. Um, this, was a, this was a project that we walked into, you know, uh, OK, translate a book, uh, you know. And um, when we got into this thing, it, it was really, we were, over our heads, and I can tell you that we, you know, we were there was a project in Ukraine to do a history of Ukraine translated into Turkish. It, it never uh, happened. It was a book uh, mostly by Yuri Mitzik and a team of people. That it was much too long and big, and anyway, they didn't manage it. And while we were struggling along with this project for, I won't admit how many years, quickly a team of four professional translators in Turkey published City People He's uh, Gates of Europe. Um, it was great that it came out. I don't know its impact. I don't know how well it sold. It was a minor pub. It was a good publisher, but a minor one. It was not as beautiful as, as this publication, not by a major publisher. This is a major one of the Turkish best publishers. Uh, and, uh, and unfortunately, they were professional translators, unlike us, but they were not experts in the field. And they didn't, they did pretty good, but they didn't, they really, 
didn't manage to, to deal with some of the very difficult, subtle problems of translating for the first time Ukrainian reality into Turkish. And some of the most difficult things is the problem, I mean, it's very interesting intellectually, problem of what to, what to do with, with the Rus and Russia and Turkish. It's Russia and uh, uh, Russian uh, and uh, Rus is one word, Rus. And uh, you, it's in the soft sign is not, can't be used because it's used, used for a different reason in Turkish. So it's a really real problem we had to struggle with just for that. In the Plahi translation, you end up talking about Russian, Rus, uh, uh, nobles and Volinian and so forth. It, it becomes kind of really problematic and, you know, confusing and manipulative. And anyway, we managed, we, we struggled with this and many other things. Along the way, um, Murat was the main translator and Marin and I were like the commissars. The, uh, <laughs> and we made sure everything was properly translated. We struggled, we fought, we had bloody noses, we stopped speaking to each other. Um, and uh, and it was it was uh, really a long struggle to get things right to try to, for the first time, make sort of a, a proper, uh, plain proper proper translation to, to set the, the, the stage, for and also then there's a problem with Crimean Tatars who have certain certain things that they thought should be translated into Turkish their way, and we had to fight with this and we we ended up not resolving some problems we met in the introduction we, which is available in English if you go in academia. We laid out all the various problems and the evolution of this whole situation. But so um, uh, I'm really, and this is of course a country that very much needs needs to know about Ukraine. It's like many of our neighbors, uh, Ukraine's neighbors, Romania, Bulgaria, and but Turkey especially, very, very, very uh, um, ignorant of Ukrainian history and reality. So I'm really glad that this is happening, and I'm really glad that a major publisher has taken this up. At it's a very a book like that should cost fifty, a hundred dollars. It costs like two hundred lira, which is about two beers in Turkey now. So I don't know if it was substantive, but it's a really wonderful that it's available. Can and hopefully, sell them at bars? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> instead of a long one. So anyway, I'm really grateful to everybody uh, that was involved in this, and thank you uh, for your involvement in this as well, obviously. <laughs> and Murat and Murat and and, and Marina, we're. We're really, uh, they're really heroes in, in making this happen. Thank you.